Bill Applegate here. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, I'm going to do a lesson today on Feel Like Making Love. It's a great uh, tune. It was originally a pop tune recorded by Roberta Flack, uh, but many jazz artists have recorded it and it's a really fun tune to play. So I'm going to go through the comping, the melody, and a solo. So let's get started with the comping. Looking at the comp here, starts with uh, F minor 9, this typical F minor 9 voicing. Going to that B flat 7 sus voicing. It's tricky to get it really smooth. It's almost like this finger leaves early. Probably exaggerating there, but that's kind of what you want to do. So this real typical E flat major seven. These ninth chords I really like to use a lot. Okay, back to the F minor ninth. B flat sus. E flat major seven. Now you kind of think of this as an E flat seven flat five. Uh, remember, tritone away, that chord's the same. So, like, here's A7, basically, here's the fifth. Okay. I'm using like an E flat six here, but it also is an A flat major nine with a. You can think of this major seven and then the root up to the ninth here. So fifth, ninth, third, seventh. Really nice G minor seven voice and it has the eleventh in it. Okay. Back to the minor nine. Now at an E flat, the same voice that we use for the E flat major seven will work for this C minor, makes it a C minor nine, three, flat seventh, nine, fifth. Back to this same voicing I used for the A major 9. Here's a real good uh, voicing for a 13th chord. Okay, a real simple little comp, but very effective. Okay, let's go on to the uh, head. here in eighth position this first part anyway you have to be kind of articulate with your finger there those I do some slides I didn't write those in but I like to throw those in a lot so I don't have any control over them actually now here you're just doing a uh, on the D flat 
kind of an R and B lick, I guess. Same thing on the C. Okay, back to that. Here I put a fill in. Remember, a seven sharp eleven. You're going to want to use the Lydian dominant. So. lick for you. Okay. Back here to eighth position. Little Dorian fill. And some octaves there to end it. You almost want to lay back on this one. Don't don't be too aggressive with it. Okay, let's move on to the solo. Okay, starting on the F minor 7, just using an F Dorian. I have a chromatic note here, so I'm going from the 7th to the root with a chromatic note. 3rd, 4th, and then slide into the 5th, 7th root, flat the root. Okay, in these first three majors, it's F, uh, Dorian, and it's just a 2 5 1 in E flat. Uh, just remember that uh, they're all the same notes, but I'm. You, you, you do, you do need to uh, target the chord tones. So on this chord, now the third becomes the fourth. So it's root seven, root seven, six, five, four, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, root. Okay. So, uh, so I'm targeting that fourth tone there a little bit. It's easy to get kind of tangled up in this. So that might take a little work. On the E flat major 7, I'm using some uh, enclosures. An enclosure around the 7th. I guess you'd call it chromatic enclosures. Uh, enclosure around the 3rd. Shift here to do an enclosure around, around the 5th. Starting here on the sixth, chromatic to the fifth. And then uh, jump down here to do a Lydian dominant lick. And then I'm switching to a just a mixed Lydian lick on the C7 with a chromatic note up to this E. Try to be real melodic here in these next four measures. Just coming out of this F minor seven. You might think of the ninth there, and then uh, on the sharp eleven, I'm obviously going to use a A Lydian dominant. Okay, 
that little half note gave me a chance to move up here. I'm moving, thinking of this A flat major seven. And then on the sixth, seems to work. G minor seven, root three, three, root three, four, three. And kind of a blues note here. And then an F minor seven here. I'm just going. So it's starting on on the fourth, which is not a chord tone, but it does go right up to the fifth. And then the flat seventh. And then the flat seventh up to the root. Right to the third. And just chromatic third to the root. 7th through the 5th. 3, 1, 3, 4, 3. Then um, some enclosures here. Closure on the 5th, huh? And around the 7th. Back to the 5th. Okay, just an arpeggio type here. On the G minor 7. that extension there on that A flat. It almost works with an A natural. It's much more, uh, it lays a lot better with the A natural, but I think it sounds better with the A flat, so. Okay, here I'm just doing, sliding into a D flat seven sharp 11 arpeggio. Seven, one, three, sharp 11. Sharp 11, 3. This is kind of a blues lick here. And going down to C minor. And then just a little uh, octave lick here on the F7. Okay, and then I just improvise the second time through. Okay. Alright, there you have it. Uh, feel like making love. Really fun tune to play. Uh, remember to go to my website to get uh, the PDF and the backing track and the examples, some recorded examples. And there's also lots of other uh, tunes that I've done on there and lessons that you can uh, explore. Go to the students section. Okay, so I hope this was something helpful, something you can use, and you guys have a great day.